Hi, this is Jose da Pena from Igalia Chromium team. Today we are going to talk about the WebOS web runtime. First, we are going to explain what WAM is, then give some ideas about its architecture and benefits, and wrap up with some final conclusions. So, what is WAM? WAM stands for Web Application Manager. It is the cornerstone for the web experience in LG WebOS, its web runtime, and it is built on top of Chromium. Let's see first what WebOS is. WebOS is the center of the LG platform for embedded devices. It was originally developed by Palm for its Palm Pre devices, later acquired by HP and used in the HP Touchpad tablet. From 2013, it was acquired by LG initially for using it as the foundation of smart TV products. Then, LG has been using it in different products like digital signage, appliances, as part of its automotive platform, or integrated with ROS for robotics. They also offer an open source edition with all source code available in GitHub that anyone can use as basis for the embedded device development. WebOS is full OS built on top of Yocto Open Embedded Core. This provides uh, easy integration of components and device port layers. As an example, it supports Raspberry Pi in its open source edition, but it also, but it also a number of architectures in different products shipped by LG. The system UI and applications Compositor is implemented in QML and implements the Wayland protocol. It provides a unified media server based on GStreamer, which supports uh, DRM and hardware acceleration. And the glue among applications is provided by LunaBus, a lightweight system bus designed for performance and security. WebOS has been designed from start with the idea that web is the center of the user experience. The main developer story for contributing applications is through web applications that become first-class citizens of WebOS. Web applications are completely integrated in the user experience in a seamless integration. So let's go back to this. WAM is the WebOS Web Application Manager. It's a web runtime and it is built on top of Chromium. So, what provides WAM? Okay, WAM provides security while WAM implements the application lifecycle, uh, the management and optimization of system resources web application packaging and it is extensible. Now we are going to take a look to the architecture of WAM and how it fits in WebOS. This diagram represents the architecture of WAM in WebOS. Red parts represent the upstream Chromium provided components, white ones are Linux and Jocto parts, blue boxes are WebOS specific components and green boxes, the ones that form part of WAM itself. From Chromium, we inherit the same regular architecture of a unique browser process handling the application UI, events handling or networking. We usually do not use the upstream Chromium GPU process, so all the GL code is running also in the browser process, including Wayland integration. Then, in the render process, the bottom red box, where the web work is happening, isolated, as it is dedicated to run third-party code. It is the place where the HTML documents and CSS representations are passed and live, and live, and also where JavaScript will run. It is in browser process where most of the one code lives. It is a demo that works on top of the Chromium Complete API, and they weren't aware 
of their running web applications, their life cycle and permissions and manifests. It is extensible through one pluggables and those extensions um, delegate Set, uh, are the ones used for delegating certain browser implementations depending on the type of applications and its integration in the OS. One also allows extending the render process using V8 injections and providing API for communicating those injections with pluggables in browser process. So let's go with some benefits of one. So one is built on top of Chromium, and as such, it provides modern web support, including many of the recent CSS features, as CSS, Houdini, Flexbox, or Grid. It provides device hardware integration, including touchscreen, device integration, uh, device orientation, network connection, status, camera 2 d and WebGL graphics API, media playback, including encrypted mini extensions, in WebOS, one is the component that runs the web applications. When a user wants to launch an application, it is one taking care of the request, creating a web window with a web view. Internally, following Chromium architecture, a render process is created to run the web platform part of the application. When applications are backgrounded, one can suspend application animations and media playback for better usage of system resources. Then, those can be resumed when users see the application again. One also provides crash and network recovery support. A key feature of one is a centralized runtime model where we keep the same process model of Chromium. The browser process is shared between all the inst instances and several optimizations come with this, including reducing application launch time due to warming up the web engine saving memory and CPU when applications go to background, and reacting to system memory pressure events, saving memory, or ultimately killing all web applications. One handles security following the web platform security model, using security origins as independent isolated context. It extends it so the local web applications live in independent context too. On top of that, the application manifest specify if an application is trusted or not, as some permissions, as access to audio or video recording. One provides also the same tools available in Chromium for content and engine developers, including Chromium Tracer or the developer tools, including Web Inspector. In the end, one is the result of 10 years of development Stability and reliability are already shipped to millions of LG WebOS Smart TVs all around the world. It has been also adopted as the web runtime for the AGL reference platform. And one is available with a Parse 2.0 license on GitHub as part of the WebOS open source edition. So now I will just highlight some conclusions. First, one is the WebOS web runtime. It is based in Chromium Web Engine. It provides multiple, multiple benefits to the platform, managing the web application lifecycle with focus on performance and stability. It provides support for the recent web standards and it's available in GitHub, published with the Apache license. So, Thanks for joining and feel free to ask any question. Thanks, bye-bye.